until we're in our 30s or late 30s. So we want to be able to teach it to you all at an early age. Yeah. So now, if you decide you want it as a skill, if I've been doing it for 30 years as a real estate professional, that must mean, and I've raised three sons with that salary, mm -hmm. that must mean I must be well, right? Yeah, ma'am. So I can raise three sons, yeah. single parents, and I sent them to college. What does that mean? That must mean, that must be money and it's to be made. Yeah, yeah, so we want you to learn early so that now you can take those skills and be able to utilize them and make a living. So you understand what it takes to do it. There's also financing involved that you probably, you're gonna get a chance to learn about. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you get these funding? So you may even start, you know, selling them and say, look, y'all want one in your backyard? I can build it, this is the price to build it, mm -hmm. and you know, help them get the finance and you get paid as well. So there's so many other avenues to help you to understand how do I build, how do I make money, and it's about building financial wealth for yourself as well. Mm -hmm. Y'all like that idea? Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's just the beginning. What you don't know, it's about us teaching you what you don't know. Now you can take it to the next level. Now, you know, at your age, can you imagine when you get in your 30s, you might be down be a five of these, a 10 up, and what the, uh, you know, and you got a whole lot of them in the neighborhood with your name on yeah. it. Say, you know, this is who built this one for me. And then word of mouth, you already know, huh? social media and word of mouth, mm -hmm. for you all, it can grow. You yep. make that everybody in, in the yep. neighborhood looking for you to yep. build them one. Yep. And so, you, so you guys think you could, after doing this little yeah. demo, you guys think you could build a house? A full house? I say, mm -hmm. I like how I like the structure and everything, like how you know, how you structure this to build How a simple house. this is to, to, yeah. to use. Yeah, yeah, and then my first time using that uh, magic thing. That was your first time you said? My first time. So, you know, just think, you, you, you're almost 90%, uh, 80% completed here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but when you see, watch, just wait till you see the finished product what this is going to look like mm -hmm. once you put the cement and decide what you want your windows, you want your doors and all of that. When you see the finished product, mm -hmm. then I, that's where I want to see your face. So oh, he, they're going to be there at the same time. Yeah, we're we about to roll in. Yeah. Two, so you guys got any questions? No, I, I do not want to. I just can't wait to see yeah. your faces when you see the finished So you want to keep going? Yeah, I ain't going to lie. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so, well, yeah, so, you know. I mean, can but, you imagine being able to literally build a house Something you can call your own. You can do it. You ain't got to pay nobody to do it. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Make a lot of sense. But you're going to understand how to go and get stuff. You know, they have a whole lot of supply places here that you're going to learn how to go and, sell, you know, go through and pick stuff that you need and buy it at a low cost. Mm -hmm. And then that way you take, well, somebody don't spend uh, $300,000 for home. You may be building it for eleven thousand dollars, and you can actually live in it and stay in it. It's yours, and it's you know weather resistant. And you, you're not in that. You know, yeah, you might be so I got some homeless. So, so, I got, I got, so I got a question. So, what are you guys doing now? Uh, I mean, you working? Yes. Where are you working? Uh, <laughs> I mean, let's just straight I ain't up. I ain't, I ain't got no like employer, and like no twenty four seven, like no real job. Yeah. But I. My only dad will come get me out is do home demolition with him. Right. So y'all y'all do stuff a little here and there, yeah, you know, right, 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 make a little money here and there. I got it. But but can you imagine doing something that more than just making a little money? Can you imagine doing yeah, something I can't that? Imagine. I can't imagine. <laughs> you see That's the what I'm saying? So yeah, you you can. Twenty four seven. They could be a full time job for me. Yeah, it could be something that you could learn and. Can't nobody take it from you. Right. You learn how to build your own house, then you start building for other people, just like your uncle. Right? Oh, you yeah. said it's a oh, part of being second to you know, Yeah. Yeah, my grandma. Our grandma. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you start, it's a part of being self employed, entrepreneurship, where now you start creating your own business and you put a brand on it. You say, you know, this is whatever your name is and this is my product. Hmm. And uh, you take a okay. pride in what you're building, always. You know? Making sure it's right, making sure it's done right, so your reputation is never messed up. Like I said, I've been in 30 years, so I don't recommend any, anybody mm -hmm. unless I know them and their product, because my reputation goes with it at all mm -hmm. times. Because they trust my, they trust me. So if I recommend you to somebody, that means I believe and trust 
that you're going to do that person right. You're going to build what you, they ask you to build. You're so, going to their perfection, to your... Miss Archie is 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 spearheading this 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 movement to help you guys and guys like yourself create a new path, a, a new generation of builders, a new generation of entrepreneurs. So you guys not only learn how to build for yourself, but you can learn how to build for someone else. And I think with this, what we're bringing, with helping uh, young folks, and with her expertise and knowledge. It's going to take you a long way. So if y'all just kind of just ride with her, mm -hmm. pay attention to the things she says, and understand the industry as a whole, and she can teach you a whole lot. You'll be, more, you'll be doing a lot more than just stacking blocks. You'll, you'll understand how to not just live, but maintain a healthy lifestyle without having to beg and borrow. Because it's life changing. That. You gotta remember, you all starting from the floor up. So that means the next group who gonna be teaching them. And then we got. That means you all. And then we got we got we got Miss Michelle. Miss Miss Michelle's gonna show you. She's also the co-founder of ADU Depot. She's all, she's gonna show you a whole nother way of of learning where you can get materials from that can save you a ton of money. Not just help them save the planet, but also at the same time helping to build a more sustainable lifestyle. And that's what it's all about. So, Ms. Michelle, you got any? Well, the thing that I wanna say is that we as African Americans are part of an indigenous culture that historically has already always been very resourceful. So what we're doing is we're taking materials that have already been used in some form and we're creating circular solutions, which we really see as um, being very impactful for climate change in the future. So what we're doing is we're taking material that was styrofoam, and this styrofoam, the good thing about this material is that it is uh, windproof. Mm -hmm. It is highly efficient. Mm -hmm. You see it's lightweight. Mm -hmm. It is yeah, actually yeah. more efficient, so when you get in a, a home like this, your, your utility bills are gonna be less expensive. These are gonna be able to withstand the wind and rain that are coming with all this climate change. So we're building something that is a part of a new wave of thinking and a new way of doing. Not only by building affordable homes in people's backyards, or you can customize these to be whatever size, even a space this size that you can put a bed, a sink, and a, I don't care if it's a bucket, it's better than being outside. Yeah, so when you have this type of material that can be um, you know, it's more sustainable. We're really trying to educate people on the future and the opportunities for um, entrepreneurship. The other thing I love about these spaces is that uh, part of what we do is we call it build reuse. So it's pulling material out of homes before they're demo. Mm -hmm. People do demos every day. We can come in here and get windows, walls, and floors from a house before they tear it down and be more resourceful. So now it's being even more affordable. So let me ask you guys a question. Who knows what it costs to build a house? I got an idea. But What's your idea? I don't know what it really takes, I mean, what it costs, but uh, I know you gotta buy your own supplies for it, right? Yeah, so well, let's, I mean, let's, on it, what would you think? What would you think it costs to build a house? That, let's, let's say a house you wanna live in. How much do you think it would cost for you to build a house. For you to build the house. For me to build a house. To live in. You said eleven thousand, right? No, we, well, we we gave a number. We just she's just, yeah she's just kind of. We want to get your. I want to say like. Now you're house. thinking about a house that you probably live in now. Think about a house that if you. If yeah, the house you, you live in now. What is that? What do what, what do you think that house costs? To build that house. Probably more than eighty thousand or something like that. Okay, that's, so. That's yeah, so. Let's say that let's say eighty thousand dollar house. Right. What do you kind of job do you think you would have to have in order to be able to afford an eighty thousand dollar house? I know I gotta be a first. Well, so right now you don't What's could could you afford a salary? could you afford to live in an eighty thousand dollar house? No, not right now. But I don't, no, not right now. <laughs> okay. But understanding what Miss Archie, myself, Ms. Michelle are bringing to you and 
explaining and helping you understand the cost of living, what does it takes to live in a house, what does it take to build a house, what does it take to maintain a house. Once you understand those things, can you see yourself in a position that you not only can have your own house because you built it, but it not cost you a lot of money to do it because of the sustainability of what we're bringing and offering and sharing and just the whole vast knowledge of the things that most people don't understand in terms of what does it cost to build a house and not only what does it cost to build one, but what does it cost to maintain one? What does it cost to live in one? And now you can take and use the sustainable materials and not only build your own house, but learn where you can get materials to cut your costs down in order so you can maintain it and live in a house that's affordable. And we're talking about a career, because if you can build one for yourself, you can build one yeah, for your sister, auntie, grandma, uh, and neighbor. Mm -hmm. So that, that's the whole, so I don't know if you all know what you signed up for, but that means it's a broad range, meaning you understand like financial, you understand a building wealth, how do I build my world? You know, you're young now, but one day you're gonna have kids. How do you make sure that you continue to build wealth so that now I can take care of my kids, and take care of my household, and you understanding how to, to take care of your finances. You know, I'm not overspending, I'm not getting too much credit, because right now, our society is credit driven. You all don't understand credit now, but you will. So understanding why I need a 700 credit score. So when you walk in somewhere, that someone else is not dictating what you can get. You can say, I need this, I need that, and I'm watching what I'm spending. You know, you got a budget, you live on a budget, and this is what I'm spending, this is what I'm spending on this house. You can look at it after a while, you're gonna be able to look at it from my side and say, I know I need about, you know, $20,000 to make this house up and down, and that's what my budget is, and I'm not gonna go outside of it. And the skill, you can get just one skill, you know, as a builder. I always say, you don't know how to, need to know how to build a whole house. But everybody that come in my house got one skill. They do floors, they do doors, they do paint. I paid $700 to for somebody to paint my, like, one or two little rooms. That's a lot of money <laughs> to throw some paint. And I bought the material. You say that was just labor costs. So. Hey, but if you know one skill, then you, you finances is going to be. But, you know, uh, you said something earlier. See, African America, we were always known always. people to take something, take nothing and make something. That's correct. That's been, that's ever since we got here in America. Mm -hmm. They, you know, they, we was not educated, they wouldn't train us. So we taught ourselves to read, we taught ourselves to write. So we just back in the village, making sure that we are doing what we are destined to do. And making sure we educate you all and you educate the ones that's coming behind you. We appreciate y'all coming. I did a great job on that. So, in 20 minutes. I tell you, one, one other thing I want you to do real quick. We'll grab one of those corner pieces because, like I said, this is just a demo, just kind of give you guys a uh, just a gist of how this thing is done. But grab a corner piece. I want you to set it up there, and that way at least you see a more. Um, just set it right here. It's good. Just put, put a corner piece on there, and you see how, how that goes on there. That's perfect. Put one on the front side. Just, yeah. And you got, yeah, there you go. So those corner pieces, yep, slide the corner piece on there. Perfect. That's good. So the other thing, too, is as you're building this, these are the other things I haven't showed you yet. <clears throat> but <clears throat> this is, um, you use this little gun right here. To actually, once you get it stacked up, you put this thing in about eight inches or so, and you squirt a little bit of this foam in there, and that foam bonds these blocks together. So as you're building, you're going up, all you do, you don't have to use, you guys, I know you've been around a little bit of construction, yeah, yeah, yeah. but typically when, you're, when yeah. you're doing construction, if you're using a CMU block, which is a concrete block, and not, I know you've seen mm -hmm. those before, right? Mm -hmm. You got you, you, you've seen people mix up mortar and then they take a trial and then they'll put it on the blocks and then they'll keep stacking. Well, mm -hmm. as you see, you guys didn't have to do that. All y'all did was just stack it up, right? right. Yep, yep. So you'll take this and then you'll squirt a little bit in the average 
18 inches or so, bond the blocks together. And once it gets all the way up, unfortunately I didn't bring enough blocks, but once it gets all the way up to the ceiling height, you're going to pour these cells with concrete and your house will never go anywhere. It's going to be solid. So you have a solid home that you just built with your own two hands in a couple of hours. Make sense? Yeah. All right. Well, let's roll. Let's go look at some... Um, we have a video here. 